Hi there and welcome, it's Tracy at StampinWithTracy.com and today we're going to make this little box and inside there are some cute little snowmen. Now I found these chocolates at the grocery store and there are, Lint makes them, you get the five and so I made a box where they would all fit inside. So who wouldn't have fun opening that and seeing those little chocolatey snowmen. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make the box. We're going to start with a base of real red and the top is also real red cardstock. So the, the bottom of the box will be scored at, will be cut, excuse me, at five by eight. And then you're gonna score it at one and a quarter. Now it's very important on the bottom of the box that you cut off a smidge, just a smidge, I did this much, on two connecting sides, so like here, and here, and just a very small amount. This makes it so that the lid will go on your box. Okay, so be sure to do that. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to do that. Then the top of our box is four by seven, and you're gonna score this at three-fourths on all sides. So we'll go ahead and do that one first. So again, this is our top. We're gonna score it at three-fourths. And then the top of our box will be scored at one and a quarter. And then we'll get out our paper snips and do a little bit of cutting. Our paper snips are nice because they're very sharp very sharp. And we're going to cut these exactly the same way. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the bottom first. We're going to go at the, um, the shorter end, and we have a score line here and a score line here. We're going to go up to that score line. And then we're going to cut a little bit off of the edge right here. Now, when we've made other projects, we've done on both, but I'm just going to do it right there. So now we'll do this side, or this end, and then we'll turn it around and do the same thing. And then we'll do that to the top of our box, same thing. Turn it over. Turn it around. And then the next thing we're gonna need is to take our bone folder and get a nice crease. That will make your box come together a lot easier if you've got nice creases. And then we're going, to, so this is the inside, but we're gonna turn over and put our adhesive on the, uh, the outside of the box. Now, when you're putting your box together, you can use tear and tape, or you could also use glue dots. It's, it's up to you, or you can use our multi-purpose glue. Oh, looks like I forgot. And in there, you probably saw that I forgot that, huh? But, you know, each of the, the different adhesive. Adhesives have their pluses and minuses. Uh, I'm going to use glue dots. I used that when I created that one and I liked, liked using it, using them. They're nice and strong. So I'm gonna put about four of them on each flap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the top and the bottom and then I'll be right back. All right, I've already put the glue dots on. I did it actually in all four corners on the bottom. And then on the top piece, I just put one, as you can see, I put one there and one there. All right, and so then all we need to do then is just form the sides of the box. Now I can see that I didn't get, as I'm bringing that by, I didn't get this exactly on the line, so I'm just gonna trim that. All right, so we'll just bring this up. 
then bring that one. And then do that on the other side. Now, what you could have done on this top, you could put the top piece here while it's flat. I kind of like to do it when it's uh, put together. So that's a, that's a preference. Now we'll do the same thing to the bottom of the box. Just bring those sides up and then get a good uh, press so that you know those glues, glue dots are adhering. In fact, you could even take your bone folder and go in and do that. That's a good idea to do that. All right, so we'll go ahead and just get some shredded paper to put in there. And we'll put our little snowman, snow girl, one's pink. And just fit in there perfectly. And then we'll put our lid on. All right, now what I did for the top piece is I took a piece of our Whispered White and ran it through the hammered metal embossing folder. Okay, and this piece is cut at two and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm gonna use some multi-purpose glue for this because I find that sometimes this um, embossing when this has been embossed, it the snail sometimes it'll lift up. When you use this glue, nothing is lifting up. Now you could take that off and push it up from the inside. And then our sentiment is from Itty Bitty Christmas. We're using Have a Sugar Sprinkled Season. And we're going to uh, emboss that with silver embossing powder. And this piece right here is from the Christmas Layers. This is a beautiful set, and I'm pretty sure this is on the retiring list. So if you like this, you want to grab that. If I made a mistake, I'll put it on the screen. It's hard to keep track of everything that's going. So let's go ahead and pull in our Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to prepare our paper for embossing by taking the embossing buddy and going over the top. And then we'll bring in our Versamark. You want to use this when you're embossing. The powder will uh, stick to it really well. Now we'll bring in the silver embossing powder. that and shake it off. Looks good. I'm going to heat up my heat tool before I, before I put it on my paper so I don't get too much warping. And then we're going to cut it out with a one and three eighths inch scallop circle punch. And then we'll do a piece of real red with the one and a half circle punch. Uh, it's, you know what, I can feel a little bit of embossing powder. Yeah, here we go. Should go pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we'll use this to cut it out. some real red, the one and one and a half. And we'll glue those together with we'll use some snail. And then we're going to use um, some multi-purpose glue on the back of this piece that we cut out with silver foil. And then we'll put some dimensionals, put this on with a dimensional and stick it on there. 
No, we won't. Actually, we're going to put this directly on there. Then we'll put dimensionals there. You could do it either way, but I'd rather do that. So with this, you just want to get a little bit and just work kind of quickly on the big, bigger pieces here. Not too much. You don't want it to ooze out. Just stick that on here, like that. Push it down. Just All right, then we'll put our dimensionals on the back. And there, we're all done. That went pretty quickly, don't you think? All right, I hope you'll give this a try. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Take care. Bye-bye.